Hi, welcome into this instant insight reading. So here I've got the full deck of the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle cards. Now these were created by Radley Valentine, absolutely beautiful cards. I myself am delighted with my purchase. Um, so what you yourself will be doing today is selecting your own messages. You can select as many cards as you like. It's entirely up to you. Uh, select which card you naturally feel drawn to. Now, the best way to do this is to keep an open mind and try to do it somewhere nice and quiet where you can relax and focus. This reading you can do once. You can repeat and do it again if you're wanting to or even as a daily read. Now, I'm going to give you a moment here to select your cards. And then we'll go through from the first card all the way to the last card of the deck. And this reading is time stamped. So you can have a look below for the link to go straight to the numbers that you have selected. Okay, so here we have the first card, number one. Uh, all is in perfect timing. Now, the full message here in the guidebook alongside the deck. The doors of opportunity have opened for you and you're being invited to walk through. This is the moment you have been waiting for and you deserve the goodness that is flowing your way. If you are asking about a situation in the future, then you should take this message to mean that your anticipated timing is perfect. Stay with your current plan. This card indicates that there will be great abundance tied to this timing. It may be related to financial prosperity, if that's your plan. It can be that a multitude of happy experiences are in store for you. Perhaps you can expect ample help from others to make your dreams come true. In whatever form this abundance presents itself, accept it and share your gratitude with the divine. Card number two, Angels of Healing are with you. Now I'm going to read the full length message here in the guidebook alongside this card. From Michael, Archangel Michael. At this moment I ask that you open yourself to healing. With your consent I now use my sword of light to remove your energetic connections to the past and the present that no longer serve you. Especially those keeping you in a place of dis-ease injury or addiction. The way things have been does not dictate the way things will be in the future. I'm severing your connections to any negative stories that may have formed in your mind to sow doubt that you will heal or fear that you will not get the care that you need. Have confidence that you will get better. I urge you now to call on my brother Archangel Raphael to help you. Words of Raphael it is my honour to shine my emerald green rays of healing light down upon you. This light envelops your aura and begins the healing process related to any physical, emotional, mental or spiritual experiences that have led to your current challenges. I'm also creating a beacon to attract the perfect health professionals to your path so that you can get the help that's right for you. Be open to different methods of healing. Get second opinions or more if needed until you find what you need. Remember that green can also be related to the concept of abundance. So this green light helps bring in what you need to pay for your care, whether that be money, insurance or assistance from others. Call upon me day or night, every day, and I will continue to intensify this light of healing around you. Believe in your recovery, as we in heaven believe in you. Card number three, Archangel Michael is with you now. Now the full length message here in the guidebook reads as follows. In this moment I am actively helping you to accomplish what you asked about. I am in communication with your guardian angels, with my archangel brothers and sisters and with Source. We are coordinating our efforts on your behalf. 
take a deep breath and try to let your worries on this topic fade away. There is no need for you to pause your plans. You can continue to move forward with confidence and in peace. If you do feel the need to take a break or rest, this is a perfect time to do so. Your guardian angel team and I will make sure that things are energetically continuing to move in the right direction. Remember, my sword of light is always available to you to remove any blocks on your path. Know in your heart that all is going to be okay. As always, you can ask for my assistance at any time. And if you need a sign that I'm with you, you can ask for that too. Card number four, be a light to others. Now the full length message here in the guidebook reads as follows. The world needs people who are kind, giving and spiritually tuned in. People like you. You have the grace and wisdom necessary to help others heal from all manner of emotional and spiritual wounds. Know that you do not need to be engaged in a direct, hands-on or traditional method of support to be of assistance to them. You present an example of compassionate, non-judgmental living that people can learn from just by being around you. While your presence itself is a gift to the world, many of us in the angelic realm see you as a spiritual teacher. We think it's time that you shared your light with a much larger number of people. You already know you need to. Perhaps it's time you stepped out of your comfort zone and became a mentor or a coach to those who are struggling in the world. What you learned that allowed you to make it through all of your difficulties and challenges can now be shared with others, acting as a beacon to guide them through their own dark times. Card number five, be honest with yourself. Now the full length message here in the guidebook reads as follows. There are times when facing your true thoughts and emotions can be extremely difficult or even troubling. Yet it's important to recognise that you have these feelings for a reason. They are meant to guide you. Being honest with yourself means looking with a clear eye at the stories you've been telling yourself and others, along with all your thoughts, emotions and motivations. When you have this clarity, you can let go of your worries and have faith in the process knowing that source is in control. Knowing your truth does not mean that you need to reveal all of your thoughts and secrets to others right away. Some situations do call for sharing, however, and it can sometimes be hard to tell what your current circumstances are dictating. Let me help. If you have feelings you wish to keep a secret, ask yourself why that is. I can guide you to find your clarity by using my sword of light to sever your connections to negative stories, fears and the past so that you can reach out and embrace the truth. I can also send you signs and literal pings of emotions so that you know what's real and what's not. You'll be able to make a statement to yourself and feel that it is true or not. I will need you to ask for this assistance specifically so that my actions can remain in line with your own free will. Once you know your full personal truth, you can decide whether it's best to share it with others or wait for the divine timing. I will support whatever choice that you make. Card number six, be the real you. Now the full message here in the guidebook reads as follows. The range of variation within human existence is a rainbow like none other. It would simply make no sense for me to present myself in a form that only some people can understand. And so, just like the rainbow of human expression, there is an array of Archangel Michael forms. It is a wonder and a joy for me to shift to a form that matches what your heart can embrace. When we in the Archangel realm look at Earth, we are astounded at and in awe of how beautiful the full spectrum of humanity is. When we look at you, we see not just the incarnation you are in now, 
but also the incarnations that precede it. We see all the people you have been in the past, we see the magical expression of your uniqueness now, and we see all the amazing people in your continued life here on Earth. Every person on Earth is different from each other. Each of you has chosen to incarnate because you had something to offer that no one else possibly could. Stop judging yourself and instead see yourself through the eyes of someone who loves you dearly. Each and every one of you is needed in this moment, here and now. Showing up just exactly who you are. Don't let anyone or anything hold you back. Live your truth unapolog unapologetically. Be the real you and be the person right now. Card number seven, change is coming. Now the full length message here in the guidebook reads as follows. It is a source of unending curiosity to us in the angelic realm that so many humans are unhappy in their current life situation or simultaneously being terrified of change. Your guardian angels and I have to prod and push and nudge to get you to give up even the things you desperately do not want to in order to allow for happier things to come in. This is sometimes the underlying purpose of a situation that progressively gets more and more unpleasant for you. The universe needs to make you so uncomfortable that you'll finally take those steps towards joy. Here's the truth. Change is coming. It just is. You can fight it and make the process challenging or you can embrace it. You can live in the fear of it. Or you can have faith that the divine loves every little thing about you and only wants you to be happy. Because that is also the truth. I love you. Your guardian angels love you. And source is just crazy about you. Around you is a rainbow of opportunities to grow and find happiness. I'm here to help. I won't let you fall. It's going to be great. Let's do this. Card number eight. Deeper insights are at hand. Now the full length message here in the guidebook reads as follows. Your current plan is not as good as it could be. The details might need to be fought through again, or maybe you just haven't gotten round to the finer points and the time to do so is now. If it feels as though there are roadblocks on your path right now, then either your overall plan needs to be overhauled, or the way you're trying to implement the bigger picture isn't working right now in your favour. If you're thinking of becoming self-employed, you should consider different timing. Remember that the divine wants you to live a life of joy. It's possible that what you think would give you joy is incorrect, or there would be more joy available if your plans were to change. Ask your guardian angels for signs and messages indicating what to do next. In particular, ask for insights into whether the problem is in the details or in the bigger picture. I will also send you information to guide you in a new direction. Card number nine, don't give up on love. Now the full length message here in the guidebook reads as follows. We in the angelic realm know that all relationships can be challenging. One of the most difficult parts of the human existence is forgetting that you are all connected to each other energetically. That mistaken feeling of disconnection is what generates unforgiveness and judgment towards others. This message is meant to assure you that the relationship you're anxious about can be healed. If the situation includes another person, your guardian angels are working with the guardian angels of the others concerned in much the same way as a mediator would. Hearts are being opened and harsh thoughts are being quiet, quietened. The opportunity for healing is being established. This is not the time to give up on love. Just as difficult as your connections with others can be, your relationship with yourself. If that's your challenge right now, 
don't give up on self-love either. If your past experiences have caused you to give up on love entirely, I would urge you to allow forgiveness to wash over you. You deserve all types of love in your life. Don't shut out the chance for it by telling yourself that you give up. Your angels love you. I love you. We will never, ever give up on you. Card number 10. Don't settle for less. Opportunities beyond your wildest dreams await you, but only if you allow for them to manifest. The first step in doing so is believing they are possible. What the divine has in store for you is pure joy expressed through the evolution of your soul. It is the embodiment of your dreams coming true. Dreams that you don't even know you have. It's important now to get clarity on what you really, really want. What do you really, truly desire when you set aside familiar pressures, cultural expectations and anything else influ influencing what you think you should want. You may benefit from advice from others, but don't let anyone else dictate your choices. Where I am, time has no meaning, so I can see past, the present and the future. You have dreams for yourself, and they may seem big, but in comparison with the scope of what you can and will accomplish, they're actually rather small. I wish I could show you the details of your future. If you could see that, then for the rest of your life, you'd never settle for less than the loftiest goals. But don't worry, like a butterfly, you'll realise your fullest potential. You'll transform and there's a life full of magical experiences awaiting you. Card number 11. Embrace this magical moment. Now I'm going to read the full length message here in the guidebook. There are times in every soul's human experience when the perfect energy comes together for all your dreams to come true. You can call it the stars aligning or having a run of good luck. But however you phrase it, the results are the same. It's pure magic. The truth is this kind of energy is always available to you. You just aren't aware of how to tap into it but occasionally you can accidentally shift into a space of manifesting what you truly want and then there's no stopping you nothing can hold you back from the magical life you deserve i wish i could tell you that this will last forever but that's not usually the case in my existence so here's the advice take advantage of this moment Ride the wave. Don't question how and why things are happening. Just allow it all to unfold. Make as many wishes as you can and keep the faith around each one. Because in the end, that's what it's really about. Having the faith. Now go, go, go. Go make magic. Card number 12. Embrace your life purpose. Now I'm going to read the full length message here in the guidebook. There are different ways in which confusion about what it is you've come to earth to do can manifest. Some souls are puzzled about the specific form of their life purpose. And to them I can send signs, clues and synchronicities. There are also people who know exactly what they want and their guiding mission is to be, but they have dismissed it as if not being realistic or possible. When you, reject, when you reject what your heart is telling you to do with your life, it's only natural what you would then be baffled as to do about your purpose. You have your dreams for a reason. They are signs meant to lead you onto the right path for your souls and the world's evolution. I encourage you to look within and embrace your truth, then make it come alive with the help of all the angels at your disposal. However, if you experience detours or bumps in the road as you move forward with your plans, it's also important to explore those. It's possible that your dream was never meant to be realised, 
but instead to lead you somewhere even more amazing than you were anticipating. As always, I'm with you the whole way. My sword of light pointing in the direction of your dreams. Card number 13, get your power back. Now I'm going to read the full length message here in the guidebook. Part of the process of incarnating into a human experience is forgetting that you are a child of the divine. As you grow spiritually, you start to realise the truth of your being and your purpose. At this time, you may be deepening your understanding of this fact. Or perhaps you are simply proceeding on faith that is true. But that faith can be fragile when your human experience keeps showing you disempowering evidence that says otherwise. If you find yourself giving in to what other people <clears throat> want or continually doing for others rather than yourself, you can forget how magical you are. We angels see you from an entirely different perspective. Know your true power. Your situation right now is such that you desperately need to take back the power. Whether your concern involves a relationship, work situation or even an issue with your physical health. The message is the same. The time has come for you to remember who you truly are. Start setting boundaries and claim what is best for you. If things are not out of your control, you can start with this small way. If things are really difficult, then you may have to take charge of your own life in a dramatic stand immediately. Let me be of service. If you ask, I can help you feel courageous and strong. I can also help to protect you. Remember who you are. Take your power back. Do it now. Card number 14. Have no fear. Now I'm going to read the full length message here in the guidebook. Life can be scary. Sometimes you may fear a situation that is before you because people are often terrified of the unknown. This can create an energetic connection to the very things we're afraid of. That's where my sword of light can help. If you ask, I can sever those connections with a wave of my sword. What's important to remember is that you are never, ever alone. Not even for a second. Your guardian angels are with you every moment of your day, all through your life. Likewise, I am also with you at every moment you wish me to be. All you have to do is ask. Some people think of me as a warrior archangel, but the only war I'm engaged in is the one I'm fighting alongside you. The war against the ego and against the fear and worry it causes in life. You don't have to be afraid. Take a moment to breathe through your fears. Consider meditation or walks in nature to calm. Know deep in your heart that you are loved and protected and that your choices are being angelically guided. It's time to leave fear behind and live your fullest, very best life. Card number 15, increase your knowledge. Now here I'm going to read the full length message from the guidebook. You've come into a time in your life when you need to increase your knowledge. This may be related to your career aspirations, your spiritual growth, or just a personal desire to explore your passions for fun. The pursuit of all forms of knowledge for any reason is worthwhile right now. You might start your education through extensive reading and research, by taking video seminars or live courses, or even by going back to school on a part or full-time basis. Consider private groups on social media where you can meet like-minded experts on your topic of interest. But be sure to make it enjoyable. Avoid methods of research that seem tedious or make you dread the process. If you feel called to find a, men a mentor, ask me and I will be happy to help. I can search for souls who have similar life purpose to yours 
and then arrange for you to cross paths. Card number 16. It's almost over. Now I'm going to read the full length message here from the guidebook aloud. I know that this has been a difficult time for you. You experienced so many challenges back to back. Worries and concerns weigh heavy on your shoulders. Rest assured, however, that your guardian angels and I are doing all that we can to help you to bear those burdens. I am happy to tell you that at this time of difficulty, that it is almost over. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and it comes straight from source. Very soon, you will see the skies clear and the weight will lift. You'll be able to breathe freely again and focus upon the future with optimism. All of us in the angelic realm, and I especially, am very so proud of you and how you've handled this time of challenge. You have made wise choices and have never given up hope. Good for you for coming through all of this as a stronger person. A positive and joyful future is awaiting you. Card number 17, it's time to play. Now I'm going to read the full length message here in the guidebook aloud. You are working entirely too hard and haven't left yourself any time for enjoyment and fun. This is not sustainable and it will leave you exhausted and burned out in the long run. The situation simply has to change. Carve out time for yourself, even if it's just brief moments here and there. A little bit of self-care and amusement. Block out times in your calendar if you have to, whether it's 20 minutes every day, an afternoon or a week, or a few days off each month. Read parts of a book you love or go for a walk somewhere that brings you joy. Find a new show, preferably a comedy. That will allow you to laugh and forget your obligations for a short time. Better still would be to take a vacation. Just planning where you want to go and what you want to do, even if you don't have time off or finances lined up quite yet, would do you the world of good. But for now, today, make time for play in your life. Try to find fun in everything that you do, even if it's just a little bit. If life isn't fun, then what's the point in your incarnation? Card number 18, let it go. Now I'm going to read the message here in the guidebook. Frequently, the activities you humans engage in are focused on seeking freedom. You want to be released from old ideas, expectations, fears, worries, dramas, Stories you tell yourself, the past, and more often than you can imagine, other people. Sometimes what you want is physical freedom, but usually it's emotional, mental or spiritual freedom that you're asking for. The tricky part is getting people to participate in their own release. You might be shocked by how many souls are afraid, deep down, of freedom. I can use my sword of light to sever any energetic connections to what makes you unhappy. But your free will gives you the right to not let go. Metaphorically, I can unlock the prison. But if you refuse to leave the cell, then there's nothing I can do. I want you to be free. You may even believe that you are desperate to be free. But there's something you're holding on to. Is it a memory, an idea, a story? A person. Ask yourself if you've given the past power over your happiness in the present because you're afraid you'll never be that happy in your future. If so, it's time to dismiss that false notion. Have courage that you can stand in your own power and live in the now. You can ask me to sever the energetic connections that may be holding you back a billion times and I will never tire of doing it. I will do it over and over with joy but will both be even more joyful if you make the choice to really finally actually let go. 
card number 19, make a decision. Now I'm going to read the message aloud from the guidebook. The time has come for you to make a choice. So often when people are conflicted about a decision, it's because they are comparing the repercussions or choosing to make themselves happy versus giving someone else what they want. My heavenly perspective is that you can arrive at a choice from within one of three spaces, the mind, the heart, and angelic or divine guidance. Notice where your eye is drawn in the image, the sword, the mind, the white feather, angelic guidance, or the ruby, your heart. This may provide you with guidance as to which aspect of your human existence might be especially helpful at this time. The scales represent your desire for all these things to be in balance. But if that were the case, then you probably wouldn't be receiving this message at this time. You would already have made a choice because it would be easy. Ask yourself if you have too often gone with the option of making someone else happy at your own expense. Then ask yourself if it isn't time for you to bring the scales back into balance by choosing what you really want. I will support you in whatever you choose. Card number 20. No, it is not yet time. Now I'm going to read the full message here from the guidebook. The human experience, by its very nature, creates impatience. You are a soul living in the illusion of planet Earth. The soul within you is used to everything you want being presented to you instantly. When your soul is not in a body, you can merely think of who you wish to see and immediately be together. You can envision an experience you want to have and poof, you have that experience. The soul in you remembers that. So you create cell phones for instant connection, for your voice, video or text aircraft and trains to get from here to there quickly, and other devices that your ancient ancestors would be unable to distinguish from magic. However, you are not in this illusion alone. Being in the physical world is a similar experience to that of playing a video game with others. Sometimes the timing of things need to work with multiple people's schedules. In other words, it's not just about you. So maybe you wish to sell your home right now, but the perfect buyers don't have the financing as yet. As impatient as you can be, sometimes you just have to wait. This is one of those times that calls for patience. If you are asking about an immediate future, you need to wait a little bit longer and allow things to remain on hold. You will know when the time is right when the time comes along, because your guardian angels and I will give you the signs that will be impossible to dismiss. But for now, let a little more sand pass through the hourglass before proceeding. Card number 21. Open up to your spiritual gifts. Now I'm going to read the message here aloud from the guidebook. Your divine gifts are growing in magical ways right now. As you focus on enhancing your ability to see, hear, feel, or just know the messages from spirits, the frequency and accuracy of these messages will astonish you. Give gratitude to the angels for speaking to you clearly, loudly, and in ways that are easy to understand. Thank them for presenting you with visual signs, powerful feelings, or inspirational thoughts that bring clarity to your situation. The more you do so, <clears throat> the more messages you'll be able to discern around you. Keep practicing so that you'll gain confidence. Journaling about your messages can help you to stay awake when other signs are presented. Working with these cards will also amp up your spiritual gifts. I'm continuing to clear any energetic connections that may be binding you to worry, fear and self-doubt. I'm moving these out of your way casting them aside with a sweep of my sword of light so that you can easily pick up the signs and the guidance that your angels are sending you. 
Allow your heart to flutter with excitement as your awareness of your true nature as a spiritual being grows. Card number 22. Open your heart. Now I'm going to read the message here alongside from the guidebook. When you are in a place of judgment about yourself or others, you create conflict that brings unrest, unhappiness and unforgiveness. Right now, your ego is a powerful detriment to your happiness. Things may seem complicated, but the truth is that you simply need to get out of your own way. Whatever the situation, you'll find that approaching it with a sense of love can heal all things. There are going to be times when your behaviour doesn't match up to your expectations of yourself. If this is the case now, what you are meant to be learning is how to love yourself regardless. Try to remember that at any given moment you are doing the best that you can and try not to judge yourself too harshly. If you could see yourself the way I see you, then you would never be hard on yourself again. You would know that you are a child of unfathomable beauty and light. There are also going to be times when other people let you down. It is important to remember that they too are beings of unfathomable beauty and light. There is no way for you to fully understand their actions because it's impossible to comprehend the total history of another unique soul having a human incarnation. You are called now to open your heart and offer yourself and others compassion. Forgiveness doesn't mean that what you or someone else did was okay. It's about lifting the weight of judgment from your own shoulders. Forgiveness sets you free. Judging others is the world's number one problem right now. Don't be a part of the problem. Be the solution. Let love heal the situation. Card number 23, Pray from the Heart. Now I'm going to read the full message here from the guidebook. The power of prayer is incredible. It is an open exchange of communication between the divine and the part of the divine within you. It can heal any challenge and bring forth amazing miracles. That is why you are being called upon now to pray from the heart. When your prayers are focused by your emotions and the intensity of your heart, they have more power than ones that just come from the mind. The latter is when you say the words out of routine without deeply feeling their meaning. That isn't to say that prayers aren't ranked by prior priority level. A sincere plea in a desperate time is valued just as much as prayers of gratitude and affirmation. Even a simple request for a parking space can provide instant results when your heart is engaged in the asking. If you are facing a challenge at this time, or if you just want to manifest something magical for yourself, then know that prayer is part of the answer. Make time for your prayer list every day, but don't let it become an empty routine. Be sure to put your heart in it each and every time. Card number 24. Prioritise self-care. Now I'm going to read the full length message here from the guidebook aloud. Yours is a beautiful soul. You are always reaching out to help others lift them up. Your heart is open to those in need nearly 24-7. You sometimes wonder if the words tell me your problems are energetically tattooed on your forehead. Your loving heart and your desire to be a service is a miraculous gift and a true sign of your connection to the divine. However, you cannot pour from an empty vessel. It is time for you to recharge your spiritual batteries by allowing others to care for you. Take a spa day, spend quiet time in nature without your phone and pick days in your calendar when you're just not available to take care of anyone other than yourself. Open your heart to allowing those who love you to give back to you. Trust that others want to care for you rather than planning how you will care for them to pay them back. It's okay, you can do it, just let it happen. Card number 25, put your creative energy into action. Now I'm going to read the full length message here from the guidebook. Words from Michael. You are at a point in your life where you need to be creative. 
I've been giving you this message repeatedly because it relates to your life purpose. However, it may seem difficult to find inspiration or the motivation to act upon it. I will use my sword of light to remove your self-doubts and any energetic blocks to your creativity. Also, my sister, Archangel Gabriel, is the perfect one to help you right now. Words from Gabriel. I am the Archangel of Creativity, Communication and Motivation. I can help you create beautiful works of art, communicate your vision with the perfect words in writing or public speaking, and most importantly, feel the impulse to get it done. Whenever you need a brilliant stroke of inspiration or someone to give you a little angelic push, I'm here for you. Let me blow my copper trumpet to fire up your passion and help you make amazing creations. Card number 26. Recognize the signs from above. Now I'm going to read the full length message here from the guidebook. Here is a curious thing that you souls do while having a human experience. You ask for signs from your guardian angels, from the divine or from me, and then allow life to distract you from seeing them. It's akin to being asleep at the wheel. It's very important to stay alert to all the messages from the universe, especially if, especially if you're asking for guidance. Place notes around your home, work and vehicle that say, stay awake, to remind you to be in the moment every day. Know that the more you pay attention to your life, watchful for signs or synchronicities, the more of them you will start to see. Some of the symbols most closely associated with the angelic realm are feathers or many colours, coins on the ground, white butterflies, moths, the number four, 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 rainbows, doves, or images of us angels ourselves. Train your eye to watch for these in your life. Set the intention that if you see any of these signs or experience something exciting out of the blue, you will come out of the trance of daily life. Wake up and then process what you are thinking about when you are snapped out of your thoughts. Your surroundings will contain valuable angelic clues about what you should focus on. As you become more and more aware of all the messages you are continuously being sent, you will find that they will help you in all aspects of your daily life on earth. Card number 27, Regain Your Focus. Now I'm going to read the full message here from the guidebook aloud. Words from Michael. Daily life is currently distracting you from your primary goals and life purpose. And I'm here to remind you of why you are on earth. If you feel confused as to your life purpose, ask me for signs and messages to help you remember. It is also necessary that you ground yourself and focus on things that are most important to you at this time. Therefore, I've asked my brother, Archangel Metatron to help you during this time. Words from Metatron. I'm here to assist you with getting back to your priorities as a soul and as a human incarnate. I'm placing my symbol, the Metatron cube, on your forehead to provide intuitive insights into what really matters to you, in case you might be confused and need to ground your understanding. I can also share with you the gift of time shifting. If you feel there are simply not enough hours to complete a project, just ask me and I will slow down time for you as an individual. Late for an appointment, I can arrange for you to get somewhere faster than you should. I could also speed up time for you if you should need that too. I'm honoured to help you in any way I can so you can concentrate on the bigger picture. Card number 28. Someone new is coming. Now I'm going to read the full message here from the guidebook. As souls progress and evolve through the human existence, it takes more and more interactions with other souls 
to keep that evolution moving higher and higher. Because of that, the induction of new people into your life has never been more important than it is right now. Someone new is about to enter your orbit. This may be the start of a romantic relationship. Someone previously unknown to you may catch you rather by surprise and bring a fresh flush of love and joy into your life. This message can also represent your current partner if that person has been on a path of growth or evolution. In short, they have become someone new in your life. This card also might herald an intimate friendship. This is a soulmate relationship that is platonic, but just as impactful as a romantic relationship would be. Your soul will likely recognise them as important right away, since you have probably shared a past life with this person. Whatever form the new relationship takes, what is so beautiful about this person is that your paths will cross in such a way as to spotlight what each of you needs to learn to grow from the other right now. It will probably be a joyful acquaintanceship, but it's also possible that the interaction is to help one or both of you to heal from a past challenge. Open your heart to new people today without expectation for what role they might play in your life. Accept them for who they are and don't hold back. As you grow spiritually through the relationship, you may find that someone new inside you too. Card number 29, Stay the Course. Now I'm going to read the full message aloud here from the guidebook. Even awakened spiritual souls who pay close attention to signs can sometimes get confused. When little problems repeatedly seem to get in your way, you might start to wonder if the divine message is that your plan is incorrect and that you need to make changes. That is not the case this time. You're not wrong. You're just having a bumpy start. Continue to pay attention to any obstacles to see if minor changes to your plan might help. But stay on course no matter what. If you can, laugh at the slightest setbacks so you keep things in perspective. The universe is not trying to tell you to give up. It's just a temporary rough patch. Keep moving forward and know that my sword of light will illuminate the way past any apparent roadblocks. Trust that all will be well. Card number 30. Step into the spotlight. Now I'm going to read the full message aloud here from the guidebook. The world is waiting for leaders like you. It's time for you to write, speak, teach or otherwise share your vision. You are past the need to take more classes, read more books or increase your knowledge. Your time from learning from mentors is nearly complete and your time to become an inspiration to others is at hand. You're ready. I'm using my sword of light to clear away any fears or uncertainties about what you can or cannot do. I know you may feel nervous, but try to focus on the excitement it brings when you consider how much help you can be to others. Ask your guardian angels and me to calm your jitters and reassure you that you really are prepared to take on this beautiful, beautiful life purpose. The light of the divine is shining down upon you. Have total confidence in yourself and get out there and change the world. Card number 31. Take control of your thoughts. Now I'm going to read the message aloud from the guidebook. How often do you find yourself saying, I knew this was going to happen? Of course you did. The fact that it happened was because you knew it would. That's just the way the universe works. Whatever you focus your thoughts on, be it fears or hopes, is what you'll bring into your reality. Is that a spiritual truth? Yes, it is. Is turning your thoughts towards hope also easier said than done? Yes, it is. Your fears and worries have a tendency to obsess your mind. When faced with reality of bad news, good news is shoved aside. That's when things can snowball into a flurry of negative thinking resulting in you saying, 
Oh no. I just knew this would happen. If you find yourself in a negative dialogue about your life, change the subject regardless of who started the conversation. The key though is not to go down that rabbit hole in the first place. So if you're faced with something that worries you, immediately imagine the opposite happening. I have the ability to help you dis to disconnect from fear and quiet your ego. When you're trying to use the power of your thoughts to your advantage, let me help. With some serious practice, you'll be expecting only the best in your life. Then you'll no longer be amazed when all the good things are happening. Card number 32. The way forward is open. Now I'm going to read here the message aloud from the guidebook. It is common human experience to feel as though you are trapped. This may be due to challenging relationships, financial worries or career difficulties. While I see how it could appear as though you have no options in this situation, there are possibilities out there and more opportunities will make themselves apparent once you open your heart to them. If you continue to use words like trapped and stuck, you'll close your mind to what alternatives might be available. Refuse to see yourself as powerless. You are a child of the divine. There is nothing you cannot do. Allow me to use my sword of light to sever your energetic connections to these negative self stories. Let's look at life with new eyes and adopt a new attitude of hope together. Card number 33. This is a blessing in disguise. Now I'm going to read the message aloud here from the guidebook. Things do not always turn out the way you expect or think or want them to. There are many times in the human existence when the divine has brighter, more joyful ideas than you could ever imagine. It is only from the bigger picture viewpoint that you would be able to understand why things need to be the way they are. You must have faith in the process. Perhaps you really want a particular job, but someone else is chosen for the position. Then in time, you find another career path that is better aligned with your life purpose than the one you had previously thought you wanted. You are currently in or are about to experience a situation that feels like a disappointment, but rest assured you will recognise it as a blessing in disguise with the passing of just a little more time. Consider this message as a heads up so that you can minimise any initial unhappiness and instead trust that something wonderful is just around the corner. Don't hold on to your expected outcome so tightly that you don't see the result might be even better. This is the kind of situation where your guardian angels excel. Yes, of course, we are archangels. We're here too, and I'm always ready to help sever any energetic ties to the emotional burden of dashed hopes. However, often the tweaking of your plans or the reworking of your expectations comes with your guardians from heaven who are watching over you every moment of every day of your life. Card number 34, Trust in the Divine Purpose. Now I'm going to read the message here from the guidebook. Dear darling child, I know that you have experienced emotional wounds during this human experience. It is my intention to help soothe your heart as you recover from these challenges. Source is pouring pure white light of healing down upon you to help you come to a place of peace as quickly as possible. It will take a little time, but there is no doubt that you will heal. I know that you are confused. I realise that you're fearful, anxious, sad or even heartbroken. But I'm asking you to trust me. There is a reason for what you're going through. There is a meaning to this experience. It may take a while for you to understand why this has to happen now. But that time will come. It will. 
One day you will see the divine purpose underlying your growth as a soul in human form. You will suddenly connect the dots and the aha moment will arrive. And when you do see the light, you will realise that it was for a divinely orchestrated to take you to the next step of your dreams coming true and real joy coming into your life. Maybe you can see right now. Maybe you already get it. And you're putting your faith into positive action. If you are, then good for you, because your faith is indeed being rewarded. But if you're struggling right now, then again, I ask you to trust me. Reach out to friends and family for comfort. Allow yourself to experience the emotions you're having. Be open to loving care of professional counsellors in the need if this arises. This will all work out. It will be okay. And I'm here for you now and until the day comes when it will all make sense. Card number 35. Trust the guidance you're receiving. Now I'm going to read the message aloud here from the guidebook. Words from Michael. I can be of service in this situation, but the help of my brother Archangel Uriel can really take things to the next level. I will use my sword of light to sever any energetic connections to worry, fear and intense insecurity so that you can be free to seize every opportunity afforded you by the brilliant ideas that Uriel is blessing you with. Words from Uriel. I have placed in your beautiful mind the spark of a new epiphany. You may already be aware of it, or it may still be working its way up through your subconscious. Either way, this is guidance you can absolutely trust. It is meant to bring you joy and healing and lead to the transformation of your life. When this idea reaches you, Ask for confirmation from me and I will bring golden light into your awareness, either through your divine intuitive gifts or literally in your physical world. You might come across an actual glitter, something painted or made of gold, or anything that brings that sparkly kind of energy into your space. By combining my energy and gifts with those of my brother Michael, we are amplifying our message to you delivering you insights to dramatically increase your level of success. The guidance of the divine and meant just for you. Call upon me anytime you need assistance with inspired ideas, emotional healing or life transformation. Card number 36. Trust your angels. Now I'm going to read the message here aloud from the guidebook. You are trying way too hard to dictate the process and the outcome of how your life unfolds. Stop trying to micromanage everything and instead have faith that your angels have the situation under control. Ask me and I can use my sword of light to cut a cord on the buzzing of the ego so that you can ease into a place of peaceful understanding that you are divinely loved and everything is going to be okay. Dear one, you need to calm down. I assure you that we in heaven do know your dreams are. And we also want you to be happy in all ways. Trust your guardian angels, the other archangels and me, bring you a joyful and perfect outcome, even if it's a little different from what you had envisioned. Card number 37. Welcome abundance into your life. Now I'm going to read out the message here from the guidebook. Your earthly existence creates an over-focus upon the material. In other types of incarnations, energy is exchanged from compassion and gratitude. And your soul longs for those gentler kinds of exchanges. But when you came to earth, you have had to up your game in a matter of speaking. The physical exchange of energy called money seems foreign and cold to your soul. So deep down, you recoil from it. 
Because this world is immersed in the illusion that there is not enough, many of you wind up experiencing that of your reality. The truth is that you are divinely worthy of anything and everything your heart desires. Once you are stuck in the illusion of being unworthy, it becomes necessary for your guardian angels and me to help to get you unstuck. I pull out my sword of light in order to sever this tangled web of energetic connections to fear, anxiety, pessimism, unworthiness and past experiences that you believe prove the dynamic of lack to be true. Take a moment to close your eyes and with your intuitive gifts allow yourself to feel, see, hear or know that I'm clearing all of these falsehoods and baggage to make space for the prosperity that you deserve. Now I ask that you give the divine another chance to show how the exchange of energy known as money can work for you in this lifetime. Get clarity around your relationship to money so that you can heal it. Know that you live in an abundant universe and claim what is meant for you. I'm sending you angelic coins in this moment to fill the treasury of your heart with faith and optimism so that you can energetically allow for your pockets to be lined with coins as well. Card number 38. Yes, you are correct. Now I'm going to read the message aloud here from the guidebook. Your inner guidance has led you in the right direction. Either you have made the right choice or you know in your heart what the choice should be. Honour and respect the inner guidance by acting on it if you haven't already right now. Others around you might have different opinions from yours or be trying to change your mind. They may have the best of intentions or feel that they are protecting you, but they're incorrect. Thank them for their love, but continue to follow the path you are on. I'm here to encourage you to trust yourself and your own knowing. Call upon me when your courage fails you and I will help strengthen and resolve and bolster your faith that you are being divinely guided. Yes, you are correct. Card number 39, you are protected. Now I'm going to read the message aloud here from the guidebook. I have placed you in my personal sphere of sapphire blue light to keep you safe. My sword and shield are also defending you against any unwanted energies. I am protecting you now from physical, emotional, mental and spiritual harm. This security is meant to give you the confidence necessary to progress on the path you are inspired to walk. When you are in a place of fear, Regarding your physical, emotional or spiritual safety, think of me. Say, Dear Archangel Michael, please be with me here and now so that I can feel safe and act from a place of courage. You can say this aloud or quietly in your mind. This way in which you reach out does not matter, only that you do. Picture me walking alongside you throughout the day because I am. You are protected. Card number 40, you are ready for more. Now I'm going to read the message here from the guidebook aloud. You are in a place of personal power in this moment, even if it may not seem like that to you. This is the perfect time for you to make changes to your career or to become self-employed. If you're seeking a promotion or a job somewhere else, this is your high five from me that you're in a position to go for it. If you've been wanting to create your own business, the stars have aligned and you are ready. Plan carefully and wisely. Be strategic in how you go about making the transition. This is the moment that you have been waiting for. Move forward with planning for your big change. You're ready for more. Card number 41. Your loved ones are safe. Now I'm going to read the message here aloud from the guidebook. 
As a sensitive soul, you are naturally just as concerned for the well-being of those you love as you are for your own. Most of you are more concerned about your children, spouses, pets and friends than you are about yourself. And because of that, I want to send you this special message to address this subject. I understand why you are worried, but your beloveds are being watched over right now. They will overcome any current hardships that they are facing. Of course, as souls having a human or animal existence, they will confront trials in the future as well. But your loved ones will rise up to meet the challenges of their life experiences and they will succeed just as you have succeeded. Your prayers on their behalf are heard and are welcomed. Never stop reaching out to me. The other archangels, your guardian angels and the guardian angels of your loved ones. Prayers are powerful and they do make a difference. But in the meantime, you can know in your heart that those love are on their own divine path. They are protected by many angels and the divine. Your loved ones are safe. Card number 42. Your prayers are being answered. Now I'm going to read the message here aloud from the guidebook. In the forgetting of your oneness with source that accompanies your earthly incarnation, it can be easy to fall into the belief that your prayers are unheard or unanswered. My darling child, this is simply not true. It is never true. I and all the other angels have deep compassion for you, labouring under this misconception. What may be true is that you're not getting the answer you expected, so you do not recognise it as an answered prayer. A different path to joy than the one you envisioned may be in progress for you or perhaps you're distracted by life in such a way that you don't even realise that you're being spoken to by heaven. In the human experience the timing of an answered prayer can also be confusing. You can be impatient and you want the answers to your prayers now but sometimes waiting for the right moment to receive the answer is as much a part of the process as itself. Use the affirmation. Every single prayer is being answered in perfect timing. Ask your guardian angels and me to help you amplify the answer to your prayers so that it is clearly heard and we will happily do so. You can also ask me for the patience necessary to keep up your faith when the timing of the answer is challenging. Card number 43, your vibration is rising. Now I'm going to read the message aloud from the guidebook. It is possible you have noticed that you're feeling a little different these days. Perhaps you're aware that your actions and thoughts have shifted to a new, more spiritual vibe. Maybe you're finding it easier to have faith. This is because you are currently going through a change in spiritual vibration. The frequency you are tuned in on in your human experience is shifting because of the work you have been doing to become a stronger, healthier and more spiritual person. This can sometimes be a little disorientating, but have no fear. This current vibrational upgrade will be complete soon. Pay attention to the way your body feels, the emotions you're experiencing and the thoughts running through your mind. Talk out loud to your guardian angels and me as you start to have new and interesting experiences. Tell us what you'd like to bring into your life as well as what you'd like to remove so that we can make those things a part of your new vibrational reality. If you feel uncomfortable Take a salt bath to clear your aura of the old energy that is being pushed out of your frequency shift. Be excited about what is to come and don't worry, these changes are for your highest good. Card number 44. You will manifest what you need. Now I'm going to read the message aloud here from the guidebook. 
You have big plans and amazing goals. I know it might seem like there's just no way you can make it all work out, but that's not true. Your guardian angels and I are actively working to bring you all the resources necessary to move forward with your magical life purpose. We are arranging for you to meet all the right people, to find the right physical space you may be in search of, and to provide for any financial needs during this time. We are also working to make sure you have the emotional and spiritual support of friends, family and new people who will come into your life because of your life purpose. Have faith and keep moving. Everything you need is coming to you. Remember, gratitude fuels the universe. Fill your spiritual tank with thankfulness each day and you will go far. You will manifest what you need.